Hi, this is Ken Mergentime, executive editor for Sign and Digital Graphics Magazine. And I'm at the NBM Big Show here in Long Beach, California. And with my friend Rick Scrimger, the president of Roland DGA. We wanted to speak today a little bit about uh, people buying printers. And, okay. uh, you know, the market is so wide right now. I mean, you can print on just about anything. You know, there's vehicle wraps, textiles, rigid boards, there's just about anything. People are coming from all sorts of different places to, to buy a printer, but they yeah. might not know anything about printers. Okay. So what are the right questions that you would ask them to help them narrow down you know, the ink set, the technology, how robust of a printer do they need? And uh, you know, how do you get them to yeah. make the right decision? Well, thanks for having me, Ken. It's uh, nice to be here in uh, sunny Southern California and Long Beach, and uh, the show looks like it's shaping up to be good. Yep. Uh, you know, I think there's a couple of things that are that are happening in, in digital printing today, which is the expansion of the number and types of materials that you can put through these printers, and really the expansion of the number of things that you can therefore do and have those killer applications. I think uh, really trying to engage the customer on what they're trying to do, because I think as the market gets more specialized, you know, some people now are just wrap shops, right? Mm -hmm. and, and others are trying to be, you know, more broadly defined as sign shops or sign and graphics shops. And they may need a wider variety or their needs may be different. So really determining what the, the customer is trying to do with it is, is, is very important. And then uh, they may start their journey um, with us thinking they only want to do wraps. But as we talk to them about the numbers of materials that you can run through the, uh, the printers, they might decide, wow, that could be an incremental opportunity for me, or that could be a way that I could grow my business beyond just what I was thinking. So I think that is an important uh, conversation. It's really being a partner in, in the business with them. Okay. Well, when it comes to like deciding on the technology, let's, let's look at that for a minute. And you know, because there's so many ways to go, there's UV, there's eco solvent, there's all kinds of things. Yep. Um, so how do you kind of narrow that part of it down? Yeah, again, it's really looking at the needs and what they're trying to do with it, and then pairing the, you know, that, uh, that need with the right technology. And in, and in our case, you know, certainly uh, Ecosolvent has, has worked out very well for us, and its compatibility with such a wide variety of materials makes it sort of the 80% the solution, right? It, it'll do a lot of uh, things on a lot of different materials. Um, UV gets a little more specialized, you know. If you're if you're if you're uh, traditionally maybe in, in the awards and engraving industry, and you want to start, you know, printing acrylic and, and maybe even printing your your ADA Braille mm -hmm. uh, dots, that's something that's possible today that uh, that really wasn't uh, not so long ago. So UV has that capability of doing that. So each one of these technologies offers certain benefits, and so. There's no sort of one size fits all or perfect right. technology that's the best for everything. Um, so it really is about understanding what you're, you're trying to do, and, and it might mean that you have multiple technologies under your under your your shop's roof. Um, you might have you know solvent for more of your uh, eco solvent for more of your traditional applications, and, and UV for some of the specialty things. You know, mm -hmm. printing onto phone cases or printing onto, like I said, uh, acrylic for awards and engraving. It's just right. fantastic applications for this UV technology. Like I said, the market's, the market's so so wide. Yeah. And, and what sort of advice might you give to a, a, a guy that is thinking about buying a printer and, and how he should start to think about this? Yeah, this is an important decision. You know, I, I think a lot of uh, businesses are, are run with in these key pieces of technology that they're talking about putting in uh, in their shop. So, uh, really doing your homework. I think the the best question that I would tell someone to ask is, um, what's the total cost of running this piece of equipment, this Roland or or HP or Muto or Mamaki, um, over the course of five years? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we get caught up with what's the sticker price, right? What's right. that What's that acquisition cost? Uh, but really what you want to know is, what's a day in the life of this thing going to be mm -hmm. like? And what, what do I need to think about maybe more sophisticated uh, financial analysis so that you know that you can be profitable? We want, we want to help you be profitable. So we think about things like ROI and total cost of ownership and try to make sure that, that uh, you're getting that value over time, not just in a one-time transaction. So when you say total cost of ownership, I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, there's the, there's the sticker price, there's yep. the, the price of the ink that you're putting into it. Beyond that, what, what are we talking about? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a whole host of factors that go into a total cost of ownership. Certainly the acquisition cost, you know, how long is the warranty? You know, is, is are you going to be covered if something happens uh, longer term? Uh, certainly ink cost, you know, the running cost of, of ink. How, 
how efficient is that printer with the ink that it has? Mm -hmm. You know, a milliliter of ink is one thing, but you know, how much miles per gallon do you get out of that? Mm -hmm. and, and so those are different with different technologies. Uh, other things, um, you know, like uh, uh, maintenance like costs, maintenance, maybe. maintenance costs, or even electricity, uh, is mm. something that you can factor in. You know, what does it cost me? You know, in AC or, or electrical costs, if if I'm running this piece of equipment all the time. So a lot of those, uh, you can really get nuanced and and, and, right. and look at it. But in the end, it means the, the difference between you know profitability or saving uh, over time. And that's that's an important uh, distinction. So yeah, really understanding, doing your homework, and and going beyond just the uh, the price. Think about the value. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today, yeah. Rick. It's been a pleasure. Well, for more videos, you can go to sdgmag.com. <laughs>